Hello and welcome on my channel, Wolf Aqua, your channel about horticulture, aquaponics and aquaculture. And in this video I'm going to show you my plan section of my decoupled aquaponics system and how it works and I'll explain you a little bit about it. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and let's go! So, <clears throat> here we are now at my app and flow table for my uh, decoupled aquaponics system. Uh, the way it works is pretty simple. So I have uh, in the basement, I have next to my fish system actually, uh, my irrigation bucket and my ir irrigation central station, so to say. Uh, there I have a pump. The pump brings the water up here on the table. This table gets flooded for like two, two, three centimeters high so that all the pots get kind of wet feet so the plants can so soak up the water like from the bottom of the pot. Uh, and like after five minutes the pump uh, turns off and then the water drains back to the bucket. Uh, before it drains back, it drains over a screen filter with a, a mesh of 300 micrometers to filter out all solid particles that are here on the table. That can be soil, that can be insects, all kind of other debris that just fly over here. Um, currently here at the moment we are growing um, tomatoes. Uh, I like tomatoes, of course, to, make, uh, to eat them, but they also evaporate quite a lot of my fish water. That's another side that I really like about them. Uh, furthermore, we grow all kind of different herbs. We have like a, a purple basil here, we have a green basil, we have different lettuces here, also in two variations. Um, we also have still some leek. The leek is actually still meant to be placed in our normal veggie garden, grown in soil. Uh, and the, in the beginning of the season, we utilize this app and flow table for pre-growing for our nursery, for our um, yeah, small vegetable plants that we plant out in the wild, like in the normal garden, in the soil. Uh, and that worked out very well. Uh, the nice thing about this table is that we have like these frames above it and in the very early year we um, put like uh, two layers of uh, foil over it. So first a layer of fleece to really have the uh, cold protection, then one layer of normal uh, plastic sheet for greenhouses to let them light in at least during the day and that worked out very well and uh, in our veggie beds the plants that we are pre-growing here on this table they perform at the moment very well like our pumpkins for example that make me very very happy. Uh, furthermore we also have some other herbs here like uh, chives and some uh, no no chives uh, but some uh, parsley and some uh, coriander and that works out very well. Some of you may ask, how big is the table that you're using? I'll tell you this in a second, but just before one thing. I'm, I noticed the majority of viewers of my videos are not subscribed to my channel, and it would be just super motivating for me and encouraging to make more videos if you subscribe to my channel, or even ring the bell. That would be even better um, <clears throat> to create further videos. I still get a notification on my smartphone, like, hey, you got a new subscriber, and it's just always like a real booster of motivation to create further content. Um, having said that, um, the table has the dimensions of one times three meters. Uh, and if you, so like run about three square, pretty exactly actually, three square meters of production area. And you can put there several hundred pots of plants. Of course, depending on the size of the pots that you are using. And um, you need run about a hundred liters to flood the whole table. Of course, again, depending on how high you want to flood the table. Uh, however, you should always calculate a surplus of water for your irrigation tank so that you prevent that your pump can run dry. So because uh, if the pump runs dry, it usually will overheat and then die off. Anyway, um, if you have any questions about the system or about the video content in general, just post in the comment section below the video and then I hope to see you for the next video, but then as a subscriber. Because my big goal for 2022 is to reach 1000 subscribers on my channel. And I think together we can make it. All right, then see you next time and bye.